Hello there and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add server stats or server statistics to your Discord server. So basically a text channel that updates the number of total members in your server and shows it on like the left-hand side where all your channels are. It's just a convenient thing that you can show to other people or for yourself as a visual representation. It's a neat little tool. I saw this on someone else's server. Shout out to Lewis for this. I thought it looked pretty cool so i wanted to add it to my server and he suggested a bot for me to use for this and it seems to work pretty well and you can get this set up in like two or three minutes it's really really easy to do so in the video i'm going to show you exactly how you can set it up how you can install it uninstall it how you can configure it and also a couple of things that you shouldn't do with this bot as well if you find this useful definitely subscribe to the channel because i do loads of discord videos obviously like the video because then the algorithm is going to pump my numbers and if you're on twitch feel free to jump into my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine day I stream most days and we welcome any new members into our community. Let's do this. So what we're looking to do is something along the lines of this, which is to have sort of server stats. We can see the number of members in my server. So I'm actually first going to start by showing you how to uninstall this server stats bot. We're going to go into the server settings by clicking on the server settings here. Click server settings. I'm going to go to integrations. And we can see a few bots and apps that have been authorized here. We've got the service stats bot here. I'm going to just manage this and I'm going to remove integrations. That's removed that bot from my channel. And we'll see now this basically will not update. This channel here will not update. So I can just actually delete this channel. It's my live server, by the way. I should probably do this on my test server here. So the bot that I'm using here, the one that's been suggested to me, is one called Service Stats. You can see servicestatsbot.com. There's a little bit of help here, some commands, plans, status, and a little bit about the developer. It's a pretty straightforward landing page. You just get to this invite the bot section here. There's a million plus servers this has been added to, and there's 28 different types of counters you can add. And here's some of the examples you can see here. All members, members, bots, number online, donors, things like that. So we're going to invite the bot here. Now, we're doing this whilst I'm logged into my server. Discord will basically register that I'm logged in here. If you're not logged in or you don't have Discord open, it will probably prompt you to log into your Discord. I'm going to click invite bot here. The bot's going to ask me which server I want to add it to. I'll add it to my main server. Apparently, it won't read me a bedtime story, so I'm really disappointed about this, but okay. It might not read me a bedtime story, but hopefully the bot will do some other stuff that will impress me. We'll click and continue on this, authorize it. This will then add it to your Discord server. Once it's done that, thanks for adding the server stats. There's some basic information here. The key takeaway and main problem that you may not have is that the bot itself doesn't respond. And that's likely to be that the bot itself doesn't have the right permissions to respond in a particular channel. So it says here, always check the right, the member list first. If the bot is in the server but not showing up, then check the permissions. The bot always needs the send message permission and the embed links permission. So just bear that in mind. So we're here back in my server. We can now see that we've got server stats here. I'm going to right click on on this and I'm going to give it a role called bot and I know that bot has all the right permissions to allow the bot to do what it needs to do and it also just puts it into the bot section here. I do have another video all about setting up amazing roles which includes some information about permissions and things like that. I will link that like above in the card. So as you can see, we still don't actually have the counter here. We need to add this. So to start the setup process, we can either just type S forward slash setup or can simply just tag the server stats bot itself and it'll give us some more prompts and information. But if you specifically tag it with the word setup after it, it will then start the setup. So let's say just choose any channel. For here, I'm going to actually just create a new channel, which will be an admin channel. It'll be a text channel just so that I can delete this channel later. This admin channel will have synchronized its permissions to this particular category. And now I'm just going to mention the server stats bot and press enter. So I've basically tagged the bot to wake it up a little bit by just literally typing its name in here. And the server stats bots come back and it says my current prefix is s forward slash use s forward slash help to see all of the commands. So we'll go ahead and do that. So these are all the different commands. There's normal commands, info commands, and admin commands. There's loads of different things you can do about this, like pulling data, welcoming, and goals, doing checks, debugging, things like that. We're just going to go through the setup process today to add server stats basic counter to this server. So to start the bot with s forward slash setup or server stats setup. Now we need to choose which type of channel we want to use this for. So you can add it to a text channel or a voice channel and announcement stage, or you can press cancel to just cancel that command altogether. I'm going to just simply say text here because I want it to be at the start under a text channel. The setup has been started and will take a couple of seconds to finish. So please wait a moment. By default, this bot has already added a all members, a members, and then a bots text channel within a 
new server category called server stats. Now you might already be happy with that. I don't particularly want to have the bots one here. So I'm gonna delete the bots one. And now that you've got members and all members, I might as well just delete one of these. And that's actually it here. Now the bot does say within the help section that you can actually rename these channels as long as you leave at least one number at the end of the name of the channel. But when I tested this, it didn't work very well for me. So just be careful with this. If you do rename the channel, I think you need to leave an, at least one number at the end, or you could just leave it as it is, and you've actually got the server stats here. Now, what will happen here, the setup has been complete. We've got a confirmation, and it will automatically update the counter every 10 minutes. And now we can also do an S forward slash counter command here just to see all of the different types of counters that this bot has. So let's do that. Here are all the different counters. So the ones relating to members, channels and categories, roles, emojis, and of course, things relating to boosts. So for example, you may just want to give people a prompt to boost and show the boost one there. So let's just go ahead as an example and set up a role to count how many mods there are in this server. So we'll do S counter role. So I actually made a mistake here. Instead of S counter role, we actually just need, it, need to do S counter and then create. From here, the bot guides us on what counter we want to add to the channel. So I've said here I want to go with one that is a role. I'm just going to type role here. Once again, I'm going to select text. And now it's asking me which role specifically I want to count. Now, at this point, you don't just write the name. You've, you've got to either copy the ID of the role or you've got to mention the role itself. I'm just going to go ahead and mention mods here in response. And we get a confirmation that it's turned the role counter on as a text channel here. Now, again, we are able to rename this to mods. But when I did test this, I did have some problems with it. So just bear that in mind. You may want to just leave it as is. This is a pretty useless channel without me editing this and renaming it to mods count. And then again, we just want to put like a number at the end, at least one number, save changes. And I believe every 10 minutes that will now be updated by the bot. If you do have any issues with this, obviously I'll try to answer in the comments below. Let me know. But if I fail to answer or I miss your message or something like that, you can can get support by going to servicestatsbot.com and clicking on the get support. So there you have it, how to easily add a counter to your Discord to count how many members there are or roles or or emojis or any kind of things like that. Really keen to see how you guys use this. Let me know in the comments how creatively you're using this. If you've got any good ideas, probably gonna steal them. So don't be surprised if I do steal your really good ideas. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did hit the like and have a great day, take care.